Okay, welcome to the Yours Truly Q&A. We are at the farmhouse. We're gonna answer your questions from Twitter, which have been collected and put in this bowl. And I'm so excited. And I love you guys so much. Happy 10 years of Yours Truly. Thank you for being in my life and for the spectacular 10 years and for supporting me every step along the way, accepting me, loving me, allowing for humanness and everything. I don't know what I would do without you. I'm so insanely, eternally grateful. Okay, shut up, Ariana. Read the bowl. I love you. Mwah. Here we go. Thank you for your questions. This one is from Pamela, who says, which music video from this album was the most fun to film? The way, 100,000, uh, a million percent. We had no budget, no didn't even tell the label we were gonna do it, made it ourselves, and we said, listen, we have a camera, we have a projector, we have music, we have balloons, we got dancers, Brian and Scott, we just, we didn't have any budget, any anything, and we just made it, showed it to the label, and cause they, cause they brought it up to me, they were like, we need to shoot a music video, and I was like, oh, we already did it, here you go, what do you think, and they were like, this is so fun, but yeah, that is the story. This name three emotions that you feel when you listen to the album today i would say proud eternally grateful and um an emotional bittersweet but very proud and very grateful mostly cute this is another from mariana grande brazil my goodness the algorithm is not fair, I don't think, but I love you and I'm gonna answer it anyway. Um, which advice would Ari from the Positions era give to Ari from the Yours Truly era? Ooh, I don't know, I want advice from both of them. I would give, Positions Ari would tell Yours Truly Ari, stay present and don't be afraid to say no when you are running on empty and they're sending you around and you're running on empty don't be afraid to say no when you need rest when you need time you no know, there's a kind way to say i'm tired i would say that to yours truly ari um and my everything ari holy fuck and then i would tell i would want yours truly ari to say to positions ari don't let go of me don't don't let them make you apologetic or want to shrink yourself. You know what you're doing and don't listen to anybody who you don't trust or respect or know who doesn't love you. Yours truly, Ari would tell me not then, Positions Ari that, and then me now knows that. But then Positions Ari would tell her, say no and go to sleep. Take a goddamn nap. What was your favorite memory from the studio when recording the album? Um, my favorite memory, or memories, I'll say, from recording the album would be the people, yeah, the people that I got to build lifelong relationships with. Um, you know, I still work with so many of the people that I made this album with, meeting Tommy and Victoria through this was life-changing for me. Those are collaborators who I would be absolutely nothing without and who I'm so grateful for every single day. Leon Thomas from The Rascals, who I was also simultaneously shooting a TV show with during the day. We were doing both at the same time. Um, so getting to share that with him. Next question. These are so lovely. I hope you guys know how much I love you. Bass Needy says, What's your favorite non-single off the album? My favorite non-single off the album would probably be either Daydreamin' or You Will Never Know. Yeah. That is not true. Honeymoon Avenue. That's so not true. Honeymoon Avenue is my favorite non-single off the album for sure. This is from Positions WBB, Nikiana, who says, Hi, Ariana. This isn't a question, but it's just me saying that we are so proud of you, how far, how far you've come from yours truly all the way to Wicked. And I met you in 2012 from Victorious and I just love you so much and I'm so proud of you. That is the sweetest thing in the world. Thank you and I love you and I love you and thanks for being along for the ride and for being here and accepting and celebrating me and loving me the way that you do, all of you, so fiercely. I 
I'm so grateful for all of you and how fucking crazy has it been these 10 years, huh? So much has happened. So much has happened. So much has happened. I love you and I miss you. What's with that? Yes. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Next question is from Ariana Grande BR. Um, you performed Pink Champagne at the Honeymoon Tour, even though it is not a song on yours truly. Do you have a special connection with the song and do you regret not, not adding it to the track list? I think I loved the song. I think that was like one of my favorites from the era of me being caught in between Kat and Ari. That and um, boyfriend material. Um, but no, I don't regret not adding it. This question is from Itzy. Mother, what made you change the cover from this to the released one? Well, it's horrible. Not horrible. It's, um, it is, you were right. You guys got very angry when you saw it. I was very sad about that and I changed it. And you were right, but you're not always right. Your bullying has been consistent for the past 10 years. So there's that. You hated it. You were like, this is fucking ugly, mom, change it. So I did. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it leaves me with wounds that make me question everything I've done since. Just kidding. Bye. Okay, next question. Why did you decide to name the album yours truly? I love you. I love you too, firstly. Um, secondly, I couldn't decide. I really liked Honeymoon Avenue as the title, and then I really liked Daydreamin', um, but I couldn't decide. So I just wanted it to be a sort of like a love letter, an introduction to the world, and how you sign a letter, like a love letter type thing was yours truly. Um, just felt like, here I am. I'm glad that we went with that. Manuela in Two Cloud said, how long did it take to record? Um, it took me three years to record yours truly. I was simultaneously shooting Victorious and, um, you know, I would go at night or I would go on the weekends and, um, yeah, it was really fun also to take that much time with it. It felt nice. What a lovely three years. Was. Okay, next one is from Steven. Are there any songs from yours truly that you wished you made a single? Honeymoon Avenue and You Will Never Know, for sure. I think You Will Never Know would have been such a fun single. Yeah. Tattooed Heart is still to this day one of the most beloved songs amongst us fans. How long did it take you to write it, produce it, and record it? Um, so I wrote Tattooed Heart in my room alone when I was, when I was, I think, 17 or something. And then I took it to Mad Squire and 303 who produced it for me and they brought it to life and made it so beautiful. And then it ended up, it ended up on the album. And that's like the only song on that album that I like wrote by myself. <laughs> uh, so. I do love it so much and it feels like a really important one, so I am very proud of it. Ari, you, uh, Ari and me, babe. Wow. Miguel. I should have just said Miguel. Says, are we going to have products from Ari and Beauty inspired by this album? We need it. Make it happen, girl. Would I not? I know you're very annoyed with me and my makeup and my little makeup, but I, it's coming. Here, there's more. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. There's more and it's really cute. And it's very yours truly inspired and pink and girly and sweet. Yeah, it's very pretty. Hourly AGB. Um, is there something you learned or did while recording this album that you still use to this day or used or used throughout your other works? I.e. songwriting, vocal arranging, editing, etc. Um, I think, um, I don't know. I mean, it was just such a long time ago. I mean, I loved vocal producing but I don't think I was like asking to do it enough like I don't think I was like oh I'm doing that I can do that I want to do that you know at the time so I think I learned to kind of say with my chest um I'm a producer I want to do 
yeah, I can do that part. Let me do that part. Or, you know, I vocal arranged everything, but I wasn't behind the computer as much for this album. And um, I think that was the takeaway that I kind of clung to was like, oh no, I want to be doing my own vocal production from here on out. Yeah. Thank you guys for your questions and for um, an amazing, 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 special, beautiful, insane 10 years. Love you so much. Words do not suffice. And um, I cannot wait for the next 10, the next 20, the next whatever. Love you. I don't know what I would do without you and I'm so appreciative.